What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we're doing another top 10 mods video and this one is going to specifically look at top 10 mods that add mobs or creatures to the game. So the first one here as you can see I'm wearing some new armor and that is from the aquaculture mod. So this mod adds a lot of new fish and a lot of new uh, items related to fishing. So all the armor that I'm wearing and the fishing pole I'm using is all Neptune related and as you can see there are some new fish. Uh, cod of course was in the middle that's a fish that's already in the game but it does add a lot of others. Uh, as you can see there's also new food such as sushi and frog legs and there's some new knives. There's a lot of new stuff in this mod and it's pretty fun to play with. Sushi is of course a great new food and you can also find treasure chests while fish fishing which will get you emeralds, iron, gold, and diamonds. So it's definitely worth it to fish for these. The next mod that we have for you guys today is the Dead Guy's Pig History. And this one is a very interesting mod. It adds piglins to the overworld and these guys are not zombified at all. They have different uh, traits. You can have uh, ones that are farmers and these farmers you can actually find in barns naturally in the world. Rubies you're also gonna find uh, in these different uh, structures that you can find across the world and it's definitely a very interesting mod to play with it also adds clay pots as well and so this is gonna be something fun to play with as well if you trade with the farmer you'll get some beetroot seeds or other things farming related so it's not gonna be too crazy but it is something fun to play with here you can see the different classes you have uh, and they have a book that explains absolutely everything in the mod there's the fisher the archaeologist the beekeeper cheese maker and a complete description of rubies and how to revive these pigmen. So it's definitely an interesting mod to play with and there's a lot to learn with it. Next we have a mod that you guys have probably seen before. This is the Mutant Beast mod and if you use the chemical X on any of the mobs that don't actually turn into something else such as chickens, sheep, spiders, things like that, they'll actually just explode. So that's already a very fun part of this mod. But then we actually have the mobs that do turn into things and that's where it gets a little crazy. So zombies turn into mutant zombies and these things have a ridiculous amount of health and they'll actually fall down a few times before dying officially. So you're going to want to watch out for that. Skeletons can also have a mutated form and they are basically just huge skeletons with a massive bow. Spiders do not have a specific uh, form with Chemical X but it does uh, turn into a spider pig, so you're gonna have to experiment with that. I've gotta say one of the best parts about this mod is having these mobs fight each other, especially the uh, super creeper or the enderman. They make it very interesting and uh, the mutated snow golem can kick all that off by throwing ice blocks at the other mobs. Definitely a fun mod to play around with and these things look absolutely insane. So something fun to add to your world, especially if you're trying to have some more bosses or things like that in your world. As you can see, they all have different attacks than their normal base forms, so that's definitely going to be some fun. The Enderman especially is very cool and it splits into a bunch of different Endermen. You're going to want to be well prepared to fight these mobs. Next up we have the Conjure, and this adds a new uh, structure to the game as well as some new mobs in the Illager form. The Conjure is a very fun fight and there are a bunch of different hostile mobs uh, throughout the theater that you can find. It's definitely an interesting fight because these guys specifically you can't even hit unless you hit the main one that's summoning them. There's also a witch and some regular Illagers uh, in here and there is of course the Conjure up on stage. This fight is going to be very tough so you're going to want to become very prepared. As you can see I'm using some modded stuff from the aquaculture mod but you're probably going to want to run in with some netherite or at least some fully enchanted diamond and this guy is pretty tough to take down. I'm not going to show you the full fight but you'll get a glimpse of exactly what he can do here. He shoots out orbs that have special abilities and will make it very tough to beat him. Next up we have the outvoted mod and this adds some creatures to the game that used to be in the Minecraft votes but never made it to the actual game and of course we'll see some updates later on as we have more Minecraft votes but so far there are three in the game and as you can see they are very interesting. First up there's a blaze like creature 
that has shields going around him and it's going to make him very difficult to fight. He has some different attacks than the actual blaze, so that'll be interesting as well. Next up is the Great Hunger, and this is a mob that will go underground and open up its mouth, so if you walk into the mouth, it will clamp down on you. And as you saw, well, as we showed off in the beginning, the Kraken is the third mob that is in the update so far, and it's going to be uh, very interesting to fight as well because it will be underwater and it will try to clamp on and drown you. I think the Blaze especially is one of the coolest mobs that never got added, and all these mobs drop some unique items as well. The Blaze has some interesting attacks which we'll see here in the nether. It shoots out fire in almost every direction so it's going to be very hard to avoid this fire unless you have a shield or something like that. But if these guys shield up you can't hit them as well so you're going to want to be very careful when fighting these mobs. They kill you very quickly. Next up we have Lady Lux Critters mod and this adds some interesting critters including a red panda a few unique birds, a mouse, and some seahorses. So if you're just looking for a couple little extra mobs to add to your world, this is definitely a great one for you. It doesn't add too much, it doesn't add anything hostile, it's just something fun to play with and see these things in your world. I always love when I'm playing with mods to see new animals in my world, so mods like this are great for me. All these new animals fit the Minecraft style very well, so it's really not gonna take away from the vanilla feel of the game at all. I think seahorses especially add a great look to the underwater features of Minecraft. Next up we have a mod that I've showcased before but this is the guard villagers mod and this basically adds groups of guard villagers with either swords or crossbows that will attack mobs that come anywhere near the villages. Uh, of course iron golems are not enough to protect against hordes of zombies and other mods so this is a perfect mod for that because it will protect against all the new hostile mobs that you add to your world. It'll work alongside the Iron Golem to beat all the zombies or anything else that is attacking your village. It's also very fun to just spawn a bunch of mobs and watch these villagers do work. The next mod that we have for you guys is an ease of life mod and it doesn't change any major features of the game. The only thing that it does is it makes villagers follow emeralds just like cows follow wheat or pigs follow carrots. So this is great for moving villagers around because that is a pain and one of the things I hate doing the most. But with this mod you no longer have to deal with that. Of course they'll wander off just like cows do sometimes, but as long as you go and show them the emerald again, they'll follow you right along. So it's definitely a great mod uh, just to deal with villagers and it changes very little about the game. I honestly think this should be something in vanilla Minecraft. Next up, another small change to the game is Spiders 2.0, and you may have seen this mod before. It basically just changed the move mechanics of spiders, and as you'll see, they can climb up walls uh, rather than just laying horizontally as they usually do. They will turn according to the wall or according to the upside down uh, part that they're on, and it makes them look very creepy. So this is definitely going to be a very interesting mod to play with. It changes very little, but the move mechanics will make spiders a lot scarier in-game. Last up, we have my favorite mod today, and that is Straw Golems. So this basically adds a small little mob that you can spawn with a hay bale and a jack-o'-lantern, and they will go around your farm and harvest, replant, and put these items in the chest. Of course, this didn't always work that way. They used to just harvest the item and not replant. And if that does that, you can change it in the configuration files, but for me, it worked and they just put things in the chest automatically. Not only is it a huge help to not have to harvest these items yourself, but it's also just very fun to sit and watch these guys go to work. Uh, of course, you're probably going to want to put a fence up because they will wander off a little, but as long as you have a fence there, they will stay just right around your farm and do all the work for you. And it's an amazing mod that changes the quality of life in your world drastically. That is all that we have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like down below. If you want to download any of these mods, all the links are down in the description. So you can just go ahead and go to CurseForge and download them there. All of them work for 1.16.5 uh, Forage. And I'm sure a couple of them at least have a fabric version as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and I'll see you next time.